Now that's odd. Sure is. Hey, Doc, have you seen Will and Jim? Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm a stranger in this town. Perhaps you could help me. My name is Doc. I'm looking for two young boys. Town's full of them. Yes, no doubt, sir, no doubt. But these boys in particular, they're two of a kind. Much of a height. One toe-headed, the other black as pitch. You could take them for blood brothers. What have they done? Done, sir? Why, nothing wrong, surely. Now, they're two lucky lads who won prizes at the carnival. I merely wish to give them the valuable rewards that they so richly deserve. Can you help me? Excuse me. See you, Doc. Charlie. something set. Ah. ah, folks around here all seem to be taking a holiday. Mm -hmm. Must be the carnival. Uh, these boys I'm looking for, perhaps you know them? Mm -hmm. One prize, I, I think it said. Lucky fellas. <laughs> Have a cigar? No. Well, now, I wouldn't uh, want a couple of kids to miss out on their good fortune. Let me see. Uh, yes, I know him well. His name's... Uh, yes? Uh, Milton Blumquist. And uh, that... Oh, that's uh, Avery Johnson. Yeah. Fine boy. Fine. Both of them quite a credit to this little town, if you want to know the truth. I do want to know the truth, sir. And the truth is that you are lying. You see, I already have their names. I got them from a blind girl. Used to be a teacher hereabouts. Poor creature by the name of Foley. Will is the fair head. And Jim, the dark. Now, tell me. Old oh, man. What's your name? Holloway, sir. Charles William Holloway. Oh, yes. The town's librarian. I uh, had the honor, sir. And have had for many years, I believe. All that time spent living only through other men's lives. Dreaming only other men's dreams. What a waste. Sometimes a man can learn more from other men's dreams than he can from his own. Come visit me, sir, if you would uh, wish to improve your education. I will. And I may improve yours. Come to the library tonight. 